This is them right before the show came out. Uh, no, no, it's not. Way. Stop That's, it. That is no so good. Isn't Honestly, a good con. It's crazy. <laughs> that is. Everything's alive. Dude, shout out to all the real ones to let you know when there's boogers in your nose. Yes. Add it to your ick list, Shane. Boogers? Oh, it's going to be a long list. I can't even watch the TLC channel when I eat. <laughs> There are certain Fucking. shows I cannot watch while I'm eating, and I can't explain why. Pimple Popper? Well, that's obvious. I don't think I can ever watch Pimple Popper. <laughs> yeah, Those... but dude, TLC is full of landmines. At any second, they're going to hit you with some shit that can make your stomach hurt if you have yeah. a sensitive stomach. You Although, know? shout out Thousand Pound Sisters, because they were using oh. my palate. What? <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. Hi, welcome back to whatever the hell this is. Gross edition. I don't know. I guess we're just starting off really gross, <laughs> which kind of fits in line with my topics today. That's actually kind of a thing that uh, is talking about that every time our family's at the dinner table, poop comes up. Oh. Gross shit just gets talked about. It's natural. You know? Very true. And no, I Shane is not a part of your family because he is the most sensitive girly when it comes to any kind of food being consumed. He gets so upset at my family every time we're eating. I need to stop doing the zoning out thing because now I can't stop. <laughs> it's dangerous. That's why I said, man, you got to use it at, use it wisely. Be responsible right. with it. You know. Well, you look really pretty today. Thank you for calling me pretty. You dressed me. <laughs> okay, yes. We do need to talk about our outfits today because I really tried. Like, I've been trying to be stylish. I even have. Like, okay, I, not that I've been on many sets. Not like Chris. But... <laughs> You've been on so many more than me. <laughs> but the like wardrobe girl, the stylist, like she always is like, okay, you got your look. Okay, great. Let me get a picture. Uh -huh. Okay, great. So I've been doing that because I found this camera from like 10 years ago and I've just been taking pictures like very Y2K of us. It's a really good camera too. It has like the auto face blurring. So everyone looks 10 years younger and photoshopped. So yeah, if you want to check out these pictures, go to our uh, Shane Dawson podcast Instagram. <laughs> You're your own on set photographer. Lips. Yes, because I'm proud. Like, listen, we redid the beauty room and now it's the podcast wardrobe room. And I mean, we have clothing racks. We have like everything laid out all cute. I anyway, so yes, we have all the the wardrobe and I've been like today I picked out all of our clothes specifically to match. So for me, I have this little bear jacket thing kind of stupid fucking loser fucking cartoon <laughs> cuck. And then for Jared, are you allowed to say that word? <laughs> it's not a bad word. What does it mean? There's one that's similar to that that's like... A cuck is a contemptuous turn for a man with moderate or progressive political views or a man whose wife is sexually unfaithful. A cuckold. That's me. Oh, please. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying, Chris. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was, yeah, like a big pussy, like a big fat <laughs> pussy. I thought it was just dudes that like to watch their wives get fucked. Yes, that too. Right? Huh. Pretty much in layman's terms. I mean, I know I didn't use You're a bunch so of big shook. words, but that's what it is, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm shocked. I didn't know that was something that anyone really? would enjoy. Yeah, you I didn't any... know either. I'll show you some stuff Wait, later. there's a fetish of <laughs> husbands yes, wanting cuckold. to get their wife, watch their wives get fucked? Yes, yeah. and the wife, it's usually like an older woman with long hair and like a necklace. <laughs> and she's like laying down and she's screaming, oh my God! And her husband's in the corner and she's like, you could never do this. Why couldn't, <laughs> okay, well, just a suggestion. Couldn't the husband just tape the two of them having sex and then get off to watching him having sex with no, his wife? it's about watching somebody else be better than him. Yes. What? Yes. I saw a video of a straight couple and the guy was sucking another guy and the wife was masturbating to it. What's that? <laughs> a fucking gay Damn, fuck? I zoned out. What was know. it? You zoned out, <laughs> Raymond? Dude, that was like a real quick one. I don't even... <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Yeah. Is, are any of you cucks? Or is your husband a cuck? What? You, guys, you told us if they're growers. Let us know if they're cucks. Send... Oh my God, this perfect segue. We have a voicemail. So I set up a phone number. We'll, we'll get back to our wardrobe. Number. <laughs> Never. Uh, I set up a voicemail. So if you call 747-263-2512... Uh, leave a message under 30 seconds, preferably, and we'll play it on the show, whether you need advice or your husband's a cuck and you want to talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, let us know. Yeah. It, I'm sure there's a whole community that find it like a very positive thing, I would I'm imagine. I'm stuck on this cuck thing. I just <laughs> can't imagine. What? You're just a cuck. Why wouldn't you just have an open relationship or threesomes? I That's just don't not understand not jumping sexy. in on it. Because I think it's a very, I don't want to judge. I'm I, not trying to judge. I'm just thinking like if I wanted to watch somebody fuck you, 
I would think at some point I would like to jump in. Like it would be the foreplay I, to watch the person think, fucking the husband. I think there's a lot of yeah. psychological layers of onion to peel back on that and one. That's what I'm, I think it's just like very psychological why people want to be a cuck. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? All right. I, I, maybe we'll have Power to Power the cucks, I guess. Power. You know, fuck it. I'm not against it. I'm just trying to understand. So back to our outfits. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Jared is wearing a comic book jacket looking very boom, boom, pow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I am not a cuck, by the way. I, I sound almost like so pro cuck. Yeah, this is rad, dude. Like you really opened me up to wanting to wear dope jackets. Thank you. This is fire. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> Somebody's I on just TikTok. Use, like five generation words. Yeah. yeah, this is bitching. Yeah, and then to go with the same kind of vibe, Ryland is wearing a cloud sweater. It's 3D. And how does my blue sweater go in with all of your like muted tones? See, this is why I'm a stylist and you're not. <laughs> when you really look at them all together, there's a theme. It's very like pop art. Okay, so pop art's the theme. The color isn't cohesive because there's like, I'm not tying into anyone here. <laughs> this feels you like know what he shade. looks like though? You know what that sweater looks like? Sorry. Remember grandma used to get like the limited edition Macy's sweatshirt drops? Yes. It looks like something that grandma would have worn or Aww. this guy in the Simpsons. No, one of the two. You know, yes. I love the sweater. It just feels like I'm uh, standing outside of the rest of you or maybe I'm just I like, like I think yours looks really good though. Thank like, you. And also anytime we talked about this, blue in your eyes, I can't. Oh, uh, Chris wants to <laughs> Fuck me in blue. I can. I can when he wears blue. This is like a cuck the thing. <laughs> who's I'm fucking who and who's going to watch? I'm watching. I don't want you to see that <laughs> from that angle. Chris is wearing a waffle cone chocolate dipped uh, vest. It's very cute. It's delicious. And, um, yeah. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I just thought of something. I'm so excited. How did I forget? Oh, and I have a new blink up. <gasps> okay. Was that, that it? Star. That's it. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, wow. <laughs> that was a lot of pre-excitement for a... <laughs> Okay. Jared, I have a late... Ooh, you got shook. I have a late Christmas gift. <laughs> I'm so genuinely excited because I think Fuck you're going to yeah. love it. And it ties into our podcast. Okay. Okay. Check out your present. Oh, what? 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. Okay. Well, what's in One here? One of your favorite cheap trick locations. So Dude. Crocs just collabed with 7-Eleven. No Not sponsored. Way. <laughs> I don't know about- This is it right here. I, I just recently got into Crocs. I know. And and like, I used to almost look at people a certain way they wore Crocs. Yeah. Now I'm like, dude, yeah. I'm I have Crocs No, you're too. a Croc cook. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a cook. <laughs> I am not a cook. <laughs> Promise great. me you're not going to go toes out in those. Oh, uh, I'll be socking it outdoors for sure. Maybe, great. maybe not. I don't know. Wait, what's wrong with toes out? Wrong not with toes, toes out. out. Like guys can't do toes out in public. Oh. Unless you're at like a beach. You can have your toes out in like flip flops at the beach. Oh. But if you're wearing sandals around. Hold on. You're getting ahead of us because our next topic is going to involve icks. Okay. I'll bring my ick up later. <laughs> dude, I'm taking my shoes off. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude, Whoa. Wow. Keep those the socks are on. really cool. <laughs> Come on. Guys. Those okay. are actually so cool. Yeah, I would wear Thank those. You. I mean, this is, this means a lot to me. You know? Wow. These are are they comfy? I've never worn a croc. Dude, Crocs are the best. I keep hearing that. Okay, but did yeah. you get over your public fear of wearing Crocs and being judged? I, I actually, have not. looking back, I think I've worn more embarrassing shoes, you know? <laughs> like, I think uh, I, I used to wear water shoes outside all the time. Oh, I remember. I don't know if you guys are familiar with my water shoe phase. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Now, I, I'm at the point where I really don't care, you know? So... I think they look cool. Because oh, I wow. hate to admit, even like getting a Postmate, I would like take my Crocs off because I was too embarrassed to be out wearing my Crocs. Okay, so I need to bring something up. I'm very excited. We have a surprise today. It's not a surprise because we all know about it. <laughs> but I have something very exciting planned. Off the podcast, we were talking about one of my favorite childhood pizza places, Straw Hat Pizza, which is, it's not in that many places. I haven't had it in like 10 years. I forgot what it tastes like. It's my favorite pizza of all time. And then we were talking about it and you're like, oh, Chris, Chris Strela. Well, he has three names. Uh, growing up, uh, Capiche. Is yes. one of the names. Uh huh. And then Chris, yeah. AKA's right there. And Pizza Boy Fresh. Oh, and Pizza Boy Fresh. Yes. <laughs> so he's one of Jared's friends from childhood who's also yeah. a rapper and also works at Straw Hat and also is bringing us pizza. So he's yeah, on his way. Wow. We're going to have a whole moment with that. But if just. Pizza Boy Fresh always delivers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so true. But this is a picture that I found from I was 10. This is my 10th <laughs> birthday party. 
Oh my yeah, god. Dude. And if you look over, here's you and Capiz. Dang, and Pizza Carlos. Boy and Fresh. Dr. Carlos. He's in the house. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Whoa. he's gonna come soon. I don't know what's happening here. You guys are like, are you guys having a rap battle? I'm like, yo, yeah, yeah. Possibly, so, dude. Is everyone in Long Beach a rapper or is just your circle of people <laughs> rappers? Uh, there, there was a lot of us. A lot of us just interested in music, I would say, I guess. But uh, me and Chris were two that like to write music. We have other buddies that would make beats, that would master and mix music. But uh, quite a bit of us like hip hop. Well, I've heard a lot about this man. I'm excited to meet him. He's the best. He was like my. He's like my fourth friend in life. If I think about it. What? Well, if you think about like, do you, do you remember your first friend? Like yes. your first actual friend? Yeah. Yes. Like looking back, I think I only had like two or three friends before I was his friend. Wow. Yeah. He's a, he's a very. He's like you know. Shout out to my fifth friend right there. Yeah. Okay, what's your um, fourth? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened between that and now. Um, okay, so I thought of a segment. I have some like serious stuff to talk about, but I feel like, you know what? Let's not ruin the vibe. I'll talk about my depression and therapy later. What? Um, huh? We just got married. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, no, so I thought of a new segment. Uh, I forgot what we were doing, but we were hanging out and doing something, and then you yawned in my face. <laughs> And it wasn't a normal yawn. It was a yawn. No, I know exactly what we were doing. We were on the couch and Shane was doing his, okay, there's this myth that if you don't yawn when somebody else does yawns, you lack empathy. So basically it's it's a psychopath yawning test. Uh, <laughs> try it at home. Try it with your boyfriends uh, and your husband. You'll learn a lot. So if you yawn, the other person should yawn right after you because that's why they say catching a yawn because yawning is all based on empathy. So you feel the person's yawn and it makes you yawn. Now, if you yawn in front of somebody and they don't yawn, they're a psychopath. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but there's a chance that they might be. I don't know. It's really, really... If you were to guess on a scale of 1 to 10 if someone is a psychopath, if they don't yawn when you yawn, you can add a couple points. Yes, yeah. oh. exactly. Right? It, it, it's on a metric scale, you, you could say. And right? the thing is, yeah. sometimes I feel like you catch the yawn a couple minutes later. And Shane was like on a yawning spree. And then when I finally caught his yawn, then I was over-dramatizing it a little bit, just just to shove it in his face. And he really started getting the ick. It was horrible. It was like, your yawn was like a, huh, you no. Did? And then you go, and then you go. It's making me have to yawn. It, oh my God, I hate it. Ah! <laughs> it gives me the ick. And then I was like, oh my God, new ick unlocked. Because I never knew that was one of my icks. And then I was like, that's Ooh. a good segment. New ick unlocked. So wait, have we done this segment before? <laughs> Mandela <laughs> effect. I just remembered like a sound effect of a lock. I think we've done. Did we do this? I don't. I, don't, I think we've I only like... done one ick. I think. Uh, I don't know if we've had a chance to unlock another one. Oh, interesting. Well, my first new ick unlocked is yawning. So that's my new thing. I hate it. You're about to do it again. Oh my god, I hate it. I held it. Um, Chris, do you have any icks that uh, you've unlocked or? Any new icks? You're in your relationship. It's been a little while. What's he doing that's pissing you off? Um, I mean, this is a pretty common one. I've, we've all kind of talked about this already. How like no one likes boogers, and he'll just like dig for gold. <gasps> and just, like, and he'll yeah. just like he'll just like look at it. He'll look ah! at it in front of you. Yeah. Ah! And he knows I hate it, so he'll be like, mm. ah! Where does he discard of it? Shut um, the fuck up. he'll put it in like a napkin, throw it away, wash his hands, and stuff. But. <laughs> In case, <laughs> recap, just really quick, guys, recap here. In case you don't remember, in the last episode, Shane uh, basically told us that his biggest ick is boogers. <laughs> so his reaction is based on that. <laughs> Chris, continue. Yeah, no, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's a pretty gross thing that he does that I hate. And he knows I hate. And so he continues to do it. <laughs> On purpose. I'm not kidding, and I'm sure he's very sweet. Yeah. I would literally break up with him. <laughs> I, that is so my ick. That is, like, oh my god. I would rather you like hit me with a car. Like, I would rather anything else. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, Boogers. Just the thought of them grosses me out. Something I don't understand about Shane, though, an ick can last a good hour. Like, mm. if we have dinner in front of us and he sees something that just derails him, he really can prolong his hunger I, for a good hour. And I'm just not built that way. Like, if something grosses me out, I'm like, yuck. Yo, okay, I'm, gotta I'm eat. already pissed because the pizza's gonna get here and I'm not eating it. <laughs> like, oh, no. You guys have eaten me out. I do remember when we were younger. What? I have a sensitive stomach. I do remember you being more sensitive than me. Oh, yes. Because I'll get over it in maybe 10 to 15 minutes. No. If I'm on the way to pick up food and I get it and like something is 
on the way there has grossed me out. By the time I get home, I could almost eat it. You know what I mean? Mine lasts I, like a day. It's because of stomach muscles, you know? You got to feel free, and it just probably tenses you up because it's so gross. You're like, Ugh, you know? <laughs> it's visceral. Uh, of the day. Jared, do you, uh, you were telling me about an ick that was kind of an ick earlier. But do you have any uh, new? I have I have a couple of them. One of them is actually kind of a life hack. Ooh, you know, because in conversation or in text, uh, I always say like, "Hey, somebody." Like if I'm texting Chris, "Hey, Chris," and then I'll proceed to to text whatever I want to text. Okay. But if people text me, "Hey, bud," it's the fucking oh. worst. And I don't know anybody in my life that's ever done that that it hasn't ended up being a piece of shit. <laughs> or this fuck me over in business. Real talk. We Real have talk. so many family members that say bud. Are oh, d no. I'm saying maybe to family it's okay. okay. Or maybe it, like for some people it could be an isolated incident hey, where bud. it's cool. Uh -huh. But like I hate it when people call me bud. They've all, you know, I, I don't like it because it's almost degrading a little no, bit. No, it's, it's like, definitely You know my degrading. fucking name. Yeah. You know, you can call me dude, but don't call me bud. Or when like a waitress calls me hun, I've definitely or like uh, sweetie. Bud. Really? You the word bud? I don't definitely call people bud. Wow. Like hey bud. Well, I, I don't always know. thought it was. It's nice. a posturing. It, like... it feels posturing to me. Like hey little bud. No. You know? You're, I feel like you've said buddy maybe. Hey, I just thought bud bud was short for buddy, which I thought was nice. I feel like I could see you saying it in like a flirting manner to somebody you're like potentially going to date. But other than that, I'm with Jared. This would, I, yeah. you're like immediately uh, discarded from oh, my life. Oh no, I'll never use or, it again. I didn't know. <laughs> or when or when like waitresses or whoever call me honey or sweetie, but they're like young. If they're in their 60s mm. or 70s, call me whatever you want. I don't care, but like, don't be 20 years old calling me hun and sweetie. Although, you new, know? New yum unlock. Yum. <laughs> oh, shit. I love when a waitress calls me love. Hey, love. Hey, love. It depends. Yeah. Ooh, I like, I like when they say that. Love's not bad. That's cool. Yeah. When they call me love, I give them like a 75% tip. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's a life no, hack. No, he's not. Life hack. If you're a waitress and you see me, just call me love. <laughs> there you go. Okay. But yeah, I, I would say, though, like people calling me that stuff is my yick, and I recommend you don't trust people to call you butt. Just word of advice. <laughs> okay. I cosign. This is kind of a, I don't know if this is an ick or more of just like a preference, but I, there's one new thing that's also been unlocked because we've been eating more. Nice. Um, I bloated sex, like bloated. What? <laughs> bloated like, sex. Like if, like if we eat a big meal and it, we're like, okay, we should probably, it's been a while. What that, are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that is not, I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. Okay. This so is that's an ick to me. So I think what I need to do is before. Before we do something, uh, I need to starve myself. <laughs> no, I need to not eat. You're I think fine. that's like a pretty universal tip. Yeah, not being like, bloated before sex is Mando. You know, that's a mandatory. See, you would think that, but honestly, like whenever we go to a, like an, a nice restaurant, we see people just eating their fucking brains out, and you know they're gonna go fuck afterwards. I don't think like, so. I think they fucked before. Oh, life hack. Uh, or they I mean, poop and drink. Oh yeah, Chris. Before. Yeah, I whenever just I've never had an issue with that. I just have sex whenever. But I do you have get sex. bloated like on a serious level at your size? Not really. I have like GERD problems where my chest hurts size. really bad. But does he get bloated? I don't. I mean, I don't think it's really. <laughs> Who doesn't get bloated? I feel like everyone's bloated. If I was a betting man, I'd say maybe. Because we know? just we just all the time, and it's never that's never been a thing. You never get nauseous. Mm. No, ladies. Not for not oh. to not have if, sex. If you're like girded up, are you still down to ride or yeah. what? <laughs> wow, <laughs> you're about it, dude. I know my ick. What? Motion sickness on your end. <laughs> Wait, That's, what? It's so <laughs> annoying. That's not an ick. No, That's he you needs. Being an asshole. You know, Wait, what? No, I could say you're an asshole if I have a stomach ache. So this is no different. Uh oh, uh -oh. here we go again. Fight with Shane and Ryland. Fight with Shane and Ryland. Shane and Ryland. Because there are motion sickness pills, like, and we don't, it's not like we're always whipping around in a car. So it's like, if we're going to go in the car, just pop a pill or something. I because have motion sickness. he literally will start driving two seconds from the house and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and he never recovers from it. And I'm like, oh, we've got to be able to drive sometime. You know what? I'm going to be bloated all week. <laughs> um, <laughs> I showed up to bloat up. <laughs> Straight that, up. That reminded me. We yeah. were talking about this earlier. This is what inspired the it conversation was you said that you found out something about bloating. Dude, that yeah. So basically, I was watching a video, and it was about ancient torture. It just kind of popped up within the algorithm. I, I forgot what I was watching before, but it was like a list video. And uh, it went over different 
countries and how they would torture people and you know earlier times and in sweden the swedish did something called the sweden trunk is basically let's say they were uh, taking over a territory or they needed information from you or something like that okay you know some people might just uh peel your skin off or do something like very violent what they they would lay you on your back and just force <laughs> drink you gallons of liquid whether it be water uh it could be urine it could be sewage and they, the whole goal was just to get your stomach as bloated as humanly possible <laughs> and then they would just punch the shit and beat your stomach up until fuck? you talk what you wanted to know <laughs> it's like dude if i'm bloated and my dog jumps on my stomach it's like game over for the That's fucking night mean. you know what i mean imagine if you just had like five guys you're all bloated out of your mind punching you it's like i'll tell you whatever dude you know but like wow. but that was I, actually I, I ain't no snitch you know i mean i'm just joking, but, but i mean but but imagine me and that bloated and then just they would just abuse oh. you until you talked i mean it's probably you know? very effective because now that to the Swedes, we should try it that's like the most what? like what gentle way of doing it like hey dude, you're just, we're just gonna make you throw up all over the place and fuck your ribs up but we're not gonna hang you or nothing you know this sounds like it's listen i don't know tiktok but this sounds like a challenge like get your friend bloated as fuck and give him a secret and then just <laughs> just give him a stomach and see what give he him says a it. secret <laughs> <laughs> repeat this. Don't repeat it ever. Like, how do you do that? I don't know. But, but but just just for some. Okay, so that's the Swedes. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We have to take a break because the card's about to run oh, out. Oh, no. Um, but when we come back, Jared's going to give us an even probably grosser uh, fact. <laughs> and we're going to also eat pizza if we're not too icked out. See you soon. Hey, okay. Welcome to uh, this new location. They're doing work on our house right now. We had a leaky roof. I relate so hard to that. I don't know what that means. Leaky basement. I know what that means. Anyways, yes, we're in a new location. This is Ryland's podcast shed for his podcast, The Sip. Today's episode is not sponsored by The Sip, but go check it out. And also, this is not sweat. It's raining outside. So that's why there's a lot happening, but also nothing happening at all. All right, so let's get to the ad. First, I want to thank one of my favorite new sponsors ever, SeatGeek. So I'm really excited that SeatGeek came back because that means you guys like them and you use their code and you downloaded their app and um, that's really cool. So thank you for doing that. And uh, thank you SeatGeek for sponsoring this episode. So as you already know, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app of all time with over 28 million downloads. Um, I don't know any other place to get tickets, honestly, <laughs> because I feel like I've just heard SeatGeek so much over the years that that's just where I go, you know, when I do leave the house. And it's not just concerts that they have on there, although they have a lot. There's more than 70,000 different events every single day day on SeatGeek, so there's a lot to choose from. But obviously concerts are a huge reason that people use SeatGeek. They have Beyonce, SZA, Fall Out Boy, Ed Sheeran, pretty much any concert you can think of is on SeatGeek. Also, one of my favorite things that I talked about last time, which you guys did not think was weird, so thank you, is how much I love to just play on the app and uh, see how much people are charging for tickets. <laughs> I know, it's petty, but it's my favorite new hobby. So SeatGeek always wants to make sure that you get the best deal possible. So when you are going on the app and going to a concert and looking up ticket prices, you'll see every seat has like a little red circle or an orange circle or a green circle. The red circle means it's a bad deal. That's a very expensive bad deal. The green circle means it's a good deal and you should get it. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. So please go check out their app, play around on it, uh, get some concert tickets if you want, or just scroll through it and see people's prices like I do. And they're giving you $20 off of your first purchase if you use code GROWER at checkout. So make sure to go to the link in the description below, check out the app, uh, use code GROWER for $20 off of your first purchase and support them. I'm really excited that we have a new sponsor. Thank you guys and thank you to SeatGeek. Enjoy the rest of the episode. Okay, torture. <laughs> Back to torture. <laughs> so I was just saying, in, in, you know, in comparison here, in that same video, they talked about what Persia, what they were known for doing, which is called sending them to the boat so essentially what sending someone to the boat was is they would go out into the wilderness and they would put a canoe down or a boat structure okay. and then they would cover you you would lay in that okay they would cover you with another one with holes just for your arms to hang out oh, and your head to off. hang out and then they would pour milk and honey like as much as they could get you to drink all over your face and all over the top of this boat and the first thing that would start to happen is like insects and bees would start and come and and eat the honey off of your face and then it would dry up and it would just feel real uncomfortable and because your body is going to be releasing excrement and gases it draws in worms and rodents that claw that like get through the <gasps> boat 
And then it basically they eat you from the inside, and that's how uh, how it goes. Are you fucking kidding Why me? Why are they yeah. ruining boats? Why can't they just use a box? I I I, th I think they call it doing the boat because it was shaped like a boat. Okay, but, I, see, I see, I see. But they weren't ruining boats by any means. That's not the Persian way. They don't oh, just see. waste boats. Okay, thank God. You know what I'm saying? Um, wow. But yeah, so that's a very big uh. You know, two sides of the spectrum. I, I honestly think I'd rather do that. You think, like, <laughs> they said that that would be like up to like five days of you no, having to go through this. No, fuck that. No, the jump all over thing, my blood though, stomach. Is horrible. Yeah, that Shane, almost sounds like something you do on Fear Factor, though. You know, like, <laughs> hey, just, drink a gallon of orange juice and get punched <laughs> by Mike Tyson in the stomach. You know, I like, literally, I literally was just like, <laughs> it's a TikTok job. I'm sure Steve O's done it. You know what I mean? Like, it can't be. I just thought it was fun. Like, damn, shout out to the Swedes, man. Shout you out, know? Swedes. Shout out, Swedes. And Persians. <laughs> Well, what? thank you for that. Of course, definitely man. not eating your friend's pizza. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. So now it's time for our voicemail advice segment. I have a few voicemails picked out here, um, and they needed our advice on things. So we need to be <laughs> brutally to honest, though. They want brutal honesty. That's what I think. Okay. Mm. Okay. So here we go. This is uh, from Cece. Hi guys, my name's Cece from New York. Um, Hi, Cece. I was just looking for some advice. Mm. Last night, I just went out on a date, and this guy was amazing. 10 out of 10, phenomenal. We hit it off. Ooh. It seems too good to be true. Um, and I feel like we're, we've already talked about, like, marriage and kids' names and, like, talking about getting married, like, this year. But we just uh, met last night, and we're rushing it really hard, but it feels right. So <laughs> I just, I don't know. I need advice. Should I slow down, or should I just, like, <laughs> it's just, it feels natural. What should I do? Get um, a grip, girl. Wow. CC, try oh. to yawn in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of questions for CC. <laughs> you know, um, but nothing good happens quicker. I you would say, CC, without, you know, hurting your feelings, I think he's planning on gutting you and wearing you as a skin <laughs> suit. <laughs> this was going to be in my possibilities. It could be really negative. <laughs> okay. Right? Here. Um, he could be a psycho. So please avoid him at all costs. Tell him uh, that you're done because anybody that's talking about marriage and kids on the first date is literally... Um, a serial killer. <laughs> no, it takes two to tango. She was up there talking about marriage with him. Listen, well, she had he me. Well, was luring her in. No, I think she's I the think, psycho? I, no, 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 no. <laughs> C's our CC. CC. Not my CC. <laughs> I think... I think it's fine if you have a really good connection to no. kind of romant. No, listen to romanticize like talking about marriage or kids together. But, but when she lost me is when she said, and we were thinking about executing it in this year. Yeah, that's where you got to fucking halt the brakes, girlfriend. Yeah, I, I mean for sure. You know that I, I'm saying don't like fully commit to anything if the sentiment no. is there. But there, there's questions I have. Like, how old are you, CC? If you're like in your 40s and like this dude's in his 40s and you live in a, a town in Idaho with 45 people or whatever, like maybe this is it you know i don't know but but i mean I, I don't i don't know maybe it's one of those beautiful love stories of two people meeting in just instant love and, and you know maybe you know hold I mean? on i feel like i've offended chris what because now that i'm thinking about it are you kind of the person that does this <laughs> no and you're not a serial killer no but you are very romantic very fast i'm extremely romantic but i do know that like i have to keep it in like i know i can't i understand i can't say things like that right away i understand even if i feel he understands it, the slow burn even if i even if i were to feel something like that very quickly i know i can't say that just like on a rational level so i'll keep it in well, i always i mean i am a hopeless romantic and i always hope for the best in every situation but i get really nervous about this particular thing because i had a friend who had a very s similar situation where she met somebody who very quickly was like you're the love of my life i can tell and like you're my everything and and was so perfect and everything seemed so perfect and they love got, bombed her and they got married and they got married and then later on there was like a lot of cheating and like a lot of like just like this person was using my friend for many, I don't know, to, my to gain the status. And okay, a lot then of I feel comfortable saying this. CC Fitch, run. It, no. It, it does run. Get the fuck it, away from him, CC. No, I, the practical. Get the fuck away from this skin Shame. suit wearer. I, I, I do see it being like a 95% to 5% chance that it's either a bad look or a good look. You it's know a bad look. It's, it, it, it's, but hey. It Get could be out. That, it could be that one story. Yes. No, I agree. The practical <laughs> advice to CC is yes. don't fucking get married, but no. enjoy the ride. No. Yes. It, no, don't fucking get yourself legally enjoy tied up ride. with this guy. Yes. In the that, back of the trunk. Does he know where she lives? Tied up? Does she no, know where he lives? If you guys are having fun and he's taking <laughs> your breath away. We could be getting CC in trouble right CC, now. CC, call back. And you're CC. having great <laughs> sex. CC, call back. Just call her. We have her number. I'm with, I think I'm with Ryland. Oh my God. Should we call CC right now? 
call CC. Yeah, is that call CC. Call CC. Yeah. Wait, I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> call CC. Dude, we we might be saving a fucking life. Okay, you're right. Really? Really? No, we, we need gotta to get on CC. the same page. She's I, allowed to have fun with him, yes. and if he keeps presenting as a psychopath, she's got to fucking run. Yeah, she needs to make, proceed with caution, but okay. Let wait. her I'm, have I'm the doing, ex- I'm doing it. Let her have the experience <laughs> of being love bombed. I'm, 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 I'm with you, right? It's easy, up, dude. We got to save her life. No. I mean. Wait, I've never done this before. I feel like I flip-flopped a few times on this, but like, <laughs> Seriously, I feel no. the best about calling CC and getting People more. People could not complete your call. Oh. Please try again. CC denied oh. us. CC. CC, come on, CC. CC, hit us up <laughs> at the email address in the description below with your number so we can call you next week. Please. And I just want to say people will show you who they are. Listen. That's Wait, true. Yeah, CC, I'm trying to save you because what if CC's with him right now? Damn I just want to say, Shane, you're what? the one screaming murderer. When you were the one <laughs> that saw me in a video before you met me and said out loud that you were going to marry me. I didn't tell you that. You did a week or two into it. No, I didn't. But you have the thoughts too. I told you about that months later. Okay, months later. After but you, you said had I the love thought. you. I'm just saying. That's let very them have, different. Let them have their thing. This is it, why you're gonna end up dead. Well, I'm married. <laughs> Unless you're killing me, I'm I feel, fine. I feel personally very conflicted right now. Okay. I think until I talk to Cece, right? Yeah. I can't form my complete opinion. I feel oh, pretty CeCe, confident. I, I stand by. Nothing good happens. Quick. Don't get married right away. Obviously. Yeah. I, right. We, that's the thing. Fill it out. All right. Can you move in? Right away Wait, can with I each text other. her? Please. Hold on. I'm going to say, should I send her a picture? Whatever we can do. <laughs> hey, CC, call us. <laughs> oh, I'm take the video. <laughs> Okay. We gotta get um, CC on the line. We really do. Okay, so uh, let's do one more. Hi, guys. Are you guys autistic? Because I've seen so <laughs> many autistic signs in you, and I think you guys could do good with it, and I feel like you guys could make a platform for autistic people, and I feel like there you it could is. up the symptoms, one of them being what Shane has, misophonia. And then ADHD, yeah. severe ADHD, OCD, and anxiety. If you most likely have all of those two together, you're most likely a late diagnosed. And because you're... Are we autistic? Shane. I mean, what? she said we're autistic. They proceeded to say, like, all these other things that I well, don't know there's nothing wrong are with on being the spectrum. Autistic. No. Dude, I'm about it. I, I, I have nothing against or whatever. Like, I'm all for it. But I think we are a platform. Like, I'm not... I'm totally Hold pro on. Uh, anything. I, I, was, I was not understanding her because I do see... And this, by the way, shout out to all my autistic listeners. Oh, dude. Uh, viewers. Um, but... And all of our family members who are also autistic. <laughs> shout out. But... When I, I see this comment a lot, and I think we talked about this before, there's a lot of comments on these podcasts that are like, are you guys autistic? This is autistic. Jared's autistic. What? And I've, yeah. you've never seen those? Yeah. No. There's so many. There I, are. I searched the word autistic and there was like 200 fucking comments. Why? What signs are we displaying? Well, she's saying, so I guess OCD, mm. um, anxiety, misophonia, like the thing of sound that I have, uh, Jared saying things that are just super offensive. <laughs> <laughs> when, and without knowing Jared. it. Um, if so, I was on the spectrum, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Uh, and again, I like Jared was saying, I don't think it's a bad thing if we want. I, I don't personally, uh, I don't want to offend people that actually are autistic. Yeah. So I don't think I'm autistic at all, you right. know? Uh, and I think even for you, like the, like when you were young, you had surgery on your ears and had some tubes put in it, I think mm-hmm. at one point or something. Like there's probably other ways to even explain it. So I don't want to misrepresent anything autistic wise. Well, here's what I will say. Because there's so many comments about us being autistic and because of this voicemail, I'm starting to think we need, A, we need an autistic guest. Been saying it. B, I really need to get into Love on the Spectrum because you've been watching that forever and you said it's the best show ever made. It is possibly, yes, one of the best shows ever. Maybe we get somebody from that show. What are the defining traits? Like what... I think it qualifies you to be autistic because I know there's a spectrum, um, it's, obviously. It's a very large spectrum, too. Yeah, yeah. So no. there, there's different levels, and it's obviously on a spectrum, and I'm not a mental health or I'm not a, a doctor, so I don't know. But um, from what I do know, there's some uh, sections of autism is um, not picking up social cues or not picking up social cues in people's faces. Like Chris Rock was talking about, he has that where he can't tell if somebody's mad or sad or offended because he it, there's like a thing missing where he figures that out. Yeah, saying things that are not socially acceptable or kind of saying things without thinking about the emotional ramifications of saying it. Like those are all very, you know, So they're just truth level. tellers. That's what Jared was saying was that, didn't we talk about this on a podcast before that you think we should have an autistic president? And I kind of agree. No, yeah, for sure. 
because I mean, because no, it would no be filter. to the point straight up because all because they, they they rationalize everything that's being thought about and said to be like calculated is not just i don't know a lot of stuff is bullshit when you break it down right mm-hmm. so yeah. just it's just to the point and a lot of people that are autistic just shine in one element they like hyper focus on something yes. and just excel like no other you know what i mean right. so yeah that's typically the traits that you would see so yes we we know autistic people we have people in our family and uh shout out if you're autistic or if you're husband watching I, I just always visualize a woman watching this if your husband's autistic <laughs> yeah. shout out and honestly i wouldn't want any of us to say we were had we not been like clinically proven because yeah. that's one of my icks is I everyone tr- on social media coming out with everything in the world with conviction <laughs> when i know for a fact they haven't been to a doctor i'm like no bitch you don't also have everything under the sun yeah that is a lot have you seen the edgar haircut <laughs> I have seen that what? haircut. What it's basically that? the Dumb and Dumber haircut. Jim Carrey's haircut. <laughs> okay. Dumb it's and Dumber. Like really popular. But it's super popping. All the kids have it. It's oh, a- I know exactly what you're talking <laughs> about. Only great. because of social media. Yeah. Why do I not know about this? It's. Wow. it's I like, don't know. It's. I look. I think. I think it's cool. I think it's a great look. I just want to throw it out there. Shout out to all those rocking the Edgar. You're so Gen Z. <laughs> Is there a reason you said that after we talked I about know, autism? I'm like, like, what? <laughs> I'm like, um, <laughs> weird transition. Every now and then I just, I just was thinking about Maybe it. Maybe you are. <laughs> I just, you know, uh, I don't think I, I, I'd never say anything with the intention of hurting someone's feelings. Neither do they. You know, no, I, I know, but some people that are on the spectrum aren't able to really grasp right. what would impact someone on an emotional level because they don't really feel things on that emotional level. They mm-hmm. can't like relate. So they say things without filtering it through. Is this going to offend somebody possibly? Shane, you know? yeah, right. What? You're looking at me like I'm not, I think I'm very emotionally aware of people <laughs> in circumstances. I, and, and honestly, I, I, there's a lot of advantages. I think there'd be a lot of advantages to dating somebody that's autistic. You just have to be aware so that you know how to cope. I just Googled are the like famous people who have oh. autism Ooh, and okay. a few of these really surprised me some are like very famous directors really who yeah like tim burton i guess is oh, on, on yeah. the spectrum and <laughs> yeah but and, this is all like to, in, in lieu like what i was saying people with autism that really find what they're good at and like hyper focus yeah. they tend to be real successful can, so you know can almost be like a super i'm not surprised mm-hmm. that there's a lot of very successful yeah. people so, so like, so it's a compliment. Steven, yeah. Steven yeah. Spielberg. Oh, no, for sure. Steven Spielberg's autistic? So what this list says. Wow. What and the th- list has to be right. Imagine. <laughs> I assumed. I don't know. They have wow. their case. It says I, they're on the spectrum. Oh, I see. Right. I wish there was like some famous fucking genius that had misophonia. Cause I'm, I'm sure that, that is. That what is that again? Case. It's uh, when Ryland chews, I want oh, to kill myself. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, the people you're closest to is who it's the worst with. Yeah. Uh, Anybody? Was that just like an open statement to me about everything or like... No, about the no, no, no. This is Shane with, against oh, me. I'm learning about my kings. Kelly Osborne, Ozzy Osborne, Kelly Ripa. Queen. Uh, all have misophonia. Whoa, Kelly Ripa is my idol. She is. Love her. <laughs> um, okay, well, we're going to take a quick little break. Uh, and when we come back, Jared's childhood friend is bringing us our favorite pizza of all time. And um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. I don't know how this is going to go. Have you guys seen each other? Yeah. Kind of really <laughs> <Okay. different. laughs> I just want to vouch for Shane, this being his favorite pizza place. He was dragging his his feet coming back to California and he goes I guess we can't get Straw Hat Pizza though <laughs> dude I took Sandy here and she could tell you if she wants but I, we actually went there after I proposed to her because it was within the realm of driving distance and it was just oh so God. sentimental to me and I wanted to share it with her beautiful I'm really I don't excited. know if she was super hyped on it, but you know. <laughs> you guys just cleared up my ick I'm ready for pizza we dicked you that well, sounds kind of like someone trying to say dick <laughs> <laughs> We de icked you. <laughs> de icked you. I just de icked you. Thank you. I love no, no problem. Thanks for de icking me. Of course. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. Okay, so a huge thank you to a returning sponsor today, and that's Rocket Money. So we've talked about them, I think, a couple times before, and I love Rocket Money so much, mainly because it has really cleaned up my finances in a lot of ways. Like we talked about before, they help you get rid of unwanted subscriptions, which I was unaware. I had so many subscriptions. Like I was subscribed to so many things. Like for example, like four years ago, five years ago, oh my God, no, like seven years ago, I signed up for a sugar baby website for like a video or something. I don't know. It was very sketchy. I think they stole my information. But anyways, I was paying for that joke for like a year. So I wish I would have known about Rocket Money back then. I would have saved this sugar daddy a lot of money. 
Anyway, back to Rocket Money. They are an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. You can manage subscriptions, lower your bills, build a custom budget, and grow your savings all in one place. So we already talked about my favorite feature, which is that they help you cancel unwanted subscriptions with one click of a button. Like, it's crazy. And you never have to like talk to people. You know how when you like try to cancel something, you have to call and be like, hey, can I cancel this? Like, they'll do it for you just with one tap. And another thing they do is help you monitor your credit, which is huge if you're trying to buy a house or get a car or anything that, you know, they do a credit run or a credit report you never want to be in that situation and like be waiting for your car and you're in the lobby and then they're like oh your credit score though like that has happened to me in the past because of an unpaid bill that i had no idea existed well rocket money will monitor your credit and make sure that there's nothing like that happening and if there is something that pops up they will help you figure out how to fix it i love this app i think it's amazing i wish i would have known about it a long time ago and uh, hopefully you guys can get some help from it too because i feel like it's something that like actually can help so to save more and spend less join the over 3.4 million other members who are using Rocket Money. That's a lot. And I've got the hookup for you. Go to rocketmoney.com slash grower or click the link in the description below to get started for free or unlock even more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash grower to get started for free. So please go support them. Check it out if it's something you're interested in and uh, I think it's worth it. So I will see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of the show. Bye. Hey, okay, we're back. Uh, Jared's Longest friend ever, Chris Stralo, yes, aka Pizza out. Boy Fresh, is here. Pizza Boy Fresh. Uh, oh, yeah. Hi, welcome to our couch. Thank you, thank you. For uh, this is crazy. We haven't, I haven't seen you in like 20 years. It's been a while. <laughs> it has been a long time. Do you it think he's so while. crazy? Do you think he's seen the photo of you guys? Yeah, I showed him. Okay. In, yes, I, I showed did him. In the see, I saw room. it on the Instagram, but I didn't see the full photo until now, you know? So that is so yeah, crazy. Old school friends in there. Was like, wow. Way back. Yeah. Wow, and so Jared, uh, you guys have been friends forever. Mm -hmm. That's been a minute. Well, it's 30 it's, years we've been friends. It's been dude. a long time. It has, like wow. 25 to 28 years plus. Yeah. 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 So, Crazy. okay, we have a lot to talk about because we were actually just talking about, um, what were we talking about? Your rap name? Mm -hmm. Pizza Boy Fresh. Pizza Boy you Fresh. Know, best name out Pizza there. Pizza Boy Fresh. Pizza Boy Fresh. Pizza Boy Fresh. Capiche. Slash uh, Pizza Boy Fresh. And what's yeah. Capiche? Capiche was my brand, my clothing brand, and then it kind of turned into my rap name, you know, and then went with that. You know, I, I saw mean? you're so, rocking it. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah, Capiche. So like, it started off as the clothing brand, and then I start rapping. You know, I was around a lot of like rappers and stuff, and passing out T-shirts, and and then they're like, well, why don't you start rapping? You know, get a mixtape out. It's better than just carrying a bunch of T-shirts on your back and <laughs> giving them to people. You know, I'm like, all right, it makes sense. So Dude. then I start rapping. Capiche, be a humble ass cat. Keep it hundred that yeah, yeah. yeah. So before we get to the pizza, which is sitting right behind you, and I can't stop staring yeah. at it. Ooh. Yes. Um, the best pizza in the world, which we have very harsh critics here, right? Mm. Me and Jared think it's the best pizza in the world. You agree? I agree. 100%. Yes. Uh, Chris and uh, Rylan have never tried it. And I, I want you guys to be brutally honest about this pizza. Like, ruin my childhood. It's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's the best ever. How Although, does it hold up to the place we love in Colorado? Drama. Well, I don't know. I haven't had Straw Hat in like 20 years. <laughs> my second favorite pizza is Mellow Mushroom, which I believe is in Colorado somewhere. Oh, interesting. But it ain't mm. even fucking with Straw Hat. No, no yeah, never. Straw hat. never no. Uh, but before we get to the pizza, we were talking during the break about shoes. So you also brought a pair of shoes i did so you're a shoe person yeah yeah i was a sneaker collector forever and then i just it kind of gradually i got my size then i get another size for my dad or my mom and then i'd get extra pairs and then i could sell them and then okay make some extra money well what's the shoe you get that you wouldn't sell like what's your all-time shoe like right now the ones i brought today you've been offered what for them uh like 25 to 2800 for them for and shoes I and i still haven't sold them and what's retail 150 bucks. Wow. The yeah, margins wow. are great. Why? Oh, yeah. I got to get into the shoe business. This Why, is, <laughs> Shane? This is the most expensive shoe I have. This is the hardest shoe to get. Wait, so have you ever taken Major. these out of the box? Is this uh, like a moment? Um, I have just once or twice. How oh. many times have you looked oh. at them? Just twice? Uh, uh, twice in two years. Yeah. Wow. So what? Dude. And they still Wait. hold up. They're two years old and you're, they're still like the thing. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys ready? I don't think shoe? I've ever been so excited about a shoe. How do you have me excited over shoes? I know. Because I don't. Yeah. I'm not in the community. Okay. Yeah. So oh, this wow. Is the, most, okay. the hardest shoe to get of the last decade of the dunks. So these are right here. Drum roll. 
The Travis Scott SB Dunks. Oh, wow. Travis Wait, Scott. those are beautiful. Wow. Wow. Like the bandana? Wait, I'm kind of scared that they're just out. Do you want to? Yeah, we're, we're about to repeat that. Should, should they, yeah, should they be in like a glass case? <laughs> <laughs> you know, should, like, they should be far away from the pizza. They are. They're like, Whoa. yeah, they're wow. shelved. And, uh, unless I get, like I said, when, when I get like a nice single going and I shoot a music video, I'm going to debut those. Those will be my debut. Have you put those on your feet? No, never tried. What? Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Those are, I'd have put it on my feet at least ten times and just looked yeah, at it. Yeah, you threw least. those Crocs on real quick. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, yeah. I love the shoes I had on too, but yeah, these I just had to. These are great. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for uh, whipping you know. them out here. Of course, for a debut. Course, gotcha. uh, well, speaking of whipping things out that I'm excited about. <laughs> um. <laughs> Where's this going? This is a lot of guys, by the way. I don't think I've ever been in a room with this many sausage fest. Guys in my life. This is like, Bro, this is like a, a kickback. Remember kickbacks wow. back in the day? Um, okay, so you brought some straw hat. I'm so excited. The, just even the bag is like giving me so many memories. Yes. How do we do this? Should we just like just rip it open? However you want, yeah. Are yeah. we eating on the podcast? For a second, and then we're going to put it away because yeah. the sound is going to drive you crazy. <laughs> okay, can you hand me a box? Yes. A box? Shoot Pepperoni it. specifically? Uh, can you hand me a box? Shaking. The box when is pretty cool. Warm. It is still oh my... yellow and black Ooh, with the green. Hot. Oh my God. Open it, her up. It smells... I'm not even like acting. This is like such a legit moment for me. I haven't okay, well show so us, long. not you. <laughs> I can't even imagine oh when the last God. time you had straw. Chucky, Show the camera. Right? Chucky, take note. That's a circle, baby. <laughs> oh my God, wait. Can I get Pass a it pull? around. Wait, wow. I want to I get a poll. So what is it about this pizza that makes it your absolute favorite? I'm sorry, I'm drooling. Oh. Um, you got to taste it, Pimp. I don't, you got to just so taste I it. I haven't had it in a long time, so I don't know. Maybe, is it nostalgia or is it good? I think it's good. <laughs> it's good. It's, how oh much my pizza, God, just the smell. How much pizza cheese. are you consuming a week managing um, it? Uh, a lot, yeah. I'm, I'm eating pizza five days a week, you know, because well, I mean, you can how make could you not? You want, yeah, and uh, it's the best pizza in the world, and I, it's oh it's goodness. tough not to, you know. But you, like, <laughs> you're already going in. Teasing myself, bro. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> do you guys want cheese or pepperoni? Pepperoni. Oh, that stench. Should I wait? No, no, go. No, do it no, now. Do, do it now. Wait, I want to see Ryland's reaction, sir. Oh my God, Ryland's reaction. Yeah, <laughs> now. Oh wow! Is it amazing? Mm-hmm. Is it oh really? Oh my god! Oh wow! Um. <laughs> How do they do it? Wow, it, holds it is up. incredible because it's it like a up. thinner crust, but it still packs a punch. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. If we microwaved it a little bit, we should do mm. that after you the show. You put it in your mouth, oh, yeah. and oh, you're yeah. like, where did that come from? It um, tastes like mm-hmm. arcades. It tastes like tickets. Mm. It tastes like everything that I wish. Yep. Blank and cheese was. It does bring back memories. Yeah. Wow. No, it does. It's like blank and cheese on steroids. Wow. Okay. We're we're gonna eat that after the show and really get into it. But wow, that was. Thank you for bringing that because that really yeah, bring back you. a lot of memories. Okay. Of Jared's course. really. Uh, <laughs> you you can't give us pizza and expect I know, us to stop. But like a yeah. bite. Well, you know, I could put my mic like this. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I try to be very far away from the mic, but this, this is such a good pizza. So right. I was looking through your Instagram, mm-hmm. and I saw that you have a lot of pictures with celebrities. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of celebrities, big ones. Mm-hmm. So then I started thinking, A, why? Mm-hmm. How do you know these people, or mm-hmm. how did you meet these people? And B, can you give us any of your uh, craziest celebrity encounter stories? God, there's so many. Um, <laughs> there is so many. I could go on forever. Um, I met Jamie Foxx on a video shoot for Blame It On The Alcohol. And with uh, Jamie, it was T Pain, Jamie Foxx. It was the Oscars, so Jake Gyllenhaal, Ron Howard, um, Samuel Wait, Jackson. What? How yeah. did you get I'm actually there? in the music video. I actually cameoed in the music video. Um, I. It was a, at the Oscars, or it was. Are after you just the comparing Oscars. it to the Oscars? It was after the Oscars, and, oh. and he, all the like stars were in town, and Jamie Foxx invited him to his his video shoot. But I, I guess the question is, how did you like? What was the entryway like? How did you get on to it officially? Was there no barrier for anyone just uh, to get on it? Or? No, they asked or was it there. It was just like, oh, what are you doing here? Because it was all, everybody was like <laughs> a casted, you know, had to be, you know, yeah. with their paper, you know. But uh, I just went on set, you know, I just snuck on set. and Cheap trick. Cheap trick. Just mingled in with the crowd go. and, and got, got a cameo. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what happened with Jamie Foxx? And then Jamie Foxx was cool. We we're on set for like eight hours. Everything was cool. And then I seen him. I ran into him like a few years after it's cool as hell you know and i invited him to straw hat pizza so that might be a huge possibility his uh his management team and his bodyguard are hitting me up to come check it out before he comes and we're gonna shut down the restaurant are you serious yeah no dead serious serious. yeah dude yeah 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 so 
I invited Jamie Big Fox news. to the to the restaurant. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What are your thoughts on um, conspiracy theories? Do you think they're stupid or do you think they're fun? They're fun. Okay, good, because we're doing Conspiracy Corner, and you're joining us. Nice. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is a new Mandela effect. I know, we're done, they're stupid, we don't believe in them anymore. But somebody sent me this one, and I had to play it because I genuinely was shook by this. Snow White. Hi-ho, hi-ho. It's off, off to work, work we go. go. Wrong, you fucking idiots. What? Yeah, get ready what for this. What is it? I'm old. Isn't that crazy? Wait, what was it? How do you explain <laughs> that, Chris? It's home from work we go. It's <laughs> home oh, I got from it. work? Because he said we, I said they. So hi I ho. really fucked up on all accounts. Hi-ho, hi-ho. It's home from you know, work we go. That doesn't even make ho. sense. I mean, it makes sense. It just isn't right. <laughs> yeah, I think I people just... started kind of doing self-parodies of the song when they were going to work. People were just like, oh, hi-ho, hi-ho. It's off to work, I go. Don't try to bring logic Wait, into this. One more time, <laughs> please. Maybe? The yeah. universe switched. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. It's never been that. What about when they're going to work? Do they sing the song twice? That's almost too much oh, logic. Because I feel like they're logic. skipping the log when they go to work. It's but is work. the song played? Where do they work? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> How do they where know do where they, they work? work? Um, okay, so yeah, Mandela Effect. Let us know. What do you guys remember it being? <laughs> okay, this one, I don't want to get too political. Uh, and I thought this mm. one was a joke when somebody sent it. Oh, by the way, if you want to send us your Mandela effects or conspiracies or anything like that, uh, Shane Dawson podcast stuff at gmail.com. This is from Brooklyn. So Joe Biden's ears. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start. Uh, I've never looked at his ears. So first, look at the picture on the left. Okay, look at his left ear, normal ear. Okay, normal earlobe. Right, right, right. Normal. Where did his lobe go? His earlobes have changed. Oh. I mean, he is like 400, right? Oh, yeah. oh my God. He is, he is the oldest president we've ever had. Seriously? He's the yeah, oldest facts. person. Oldest the president we've ever had. Oh, yeah. right, 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 right. So that's weird, right? So you might be thinking, oh, maybe it's the angle. Maybe it's an illusion. But then I found a picture of him when he was young. And look at his ear, normal earlobe. Okay. And now a picture of him now. Where the fuck did it go? This is crazy, right? Does Am that I happen do when you get older? <laughs> Does your ear melt <laughs> into your kidding. head like a candle? I don't think so. Are they putting makeup yeah, on this man? He just creeps me out. Dude, <laughs> you, ever, you ever you ever heard him talk about how he he was like in a he likes to go into pools. No. And he's like, I got hairy legs and my leg hair is blonde and I like to go into pools and the kids they they can do this with their hands on my leg and they watch my hair float around. What? <laughs> so weird. I got hairy legs that turn that 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 turn. Uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun. Le Creeps me Could out, be bro. creepy, but also sound fun. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. his ears. Do you not notice it? Am I crazy? Uh, it's hard oh, to yeah, tell. Weird. I'm just, is it like a plastic surgery gone awry? Oh, <laughs> maybe. He lost it. Did he have like earlobes something? Or, uh, or just like a weird angle in lighting? I don't know. I don't know what the conspiracy would be. Is it a conspiracy that he's been replaced? Ooh, they all have. Yeah. Or it's he's in reptile. They're all, they, yes. They they all reptilian. He looks the most like a lizard we've ever had. <laughs> oh my god! He I mean, he's like doing something right to be the oldest president ever. I mean, I mean dude, to set the record. Yeah, listen, yes. I don't want to get into politics on this show, but um, we're not. We're just it? ripping on nothing. A human. We're talking about has to do with his policy, right? Uh, yeah, no. he looks like an alien lizard man. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but so does Trump. They're all um, lizards. Okay, this was a uh, somebody sent me this, and like, listen. I, it sounds stupid, but then I started like really thinking about it. Mickey upside down, the reflection of Mickey is wicked. Oh. Kind of weird, right? I that didn't is know pretty sick. There's also cool. three sixes in it. What do you mean? There's a six uh, oh, backwards in the Shut M, the fuck up. And then the I, I see has it. a six Wait, and the Y is look. a six. You guys are freaks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that does actually lead me to the next thing, which is the Illuminati. Uh. Now, I know a lot of people really believe in the Illuminati. We haven't actually talked about it on the show. I think because I'm scared. Because you're a part of it? <laughs> it's, it's not going well. <laughs> no, the Illuminati's big right now, Dan. Like right one, now. Everyone's talking about the Matrix and you know control and um mm -hmm. i think though i just look at it from the perspective of there has to be a group of people that have the most money in the world that want to control everything that's like almost human nature you know what i'm saying well, so if you compare the illuminati to like shoe hustling mm -hmm. it does kind yeah. of make sense because 
there, there's this whole world of shoe hustling that I was not even aware of. Yeah. Because I'm just simple-minded, <laughs> just living my life. And there's this whole world inside of the world. And I bet it goes even deep, 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 deep. We don't know what's going on with these celebrities. I don't know. I've never been to, well, you do more than I do yeah. about these celebrities. Yeah. But like, I'm sure the more powerful and the richer you get, the more bored you get and the more power you want. And the, like, I'm sure there is like clubs. Why not? Guy, I've heard some stuff. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. They're, yeah. That basically Crazy. they throw parties. Wait. Well, Who's yeah. they? Yeah. Wait, I'm and, scared. Uh, the Illuminati? They yep. just throw parties. I don't know who sends the oh. invitation. <laughs> I was trying to fucking send. I, was trying to send <laughs> I don't know yeah. how the okay. invitations get sent, Ryland. Okay. They just get received, and then people go to the party. They walk into a hall. There's a few different rooms. Once you walk into one room, they put you in a scenario, and now you have to kind of just do what they want you to say, or they uh, talk about what happened in that room that night. Uh, Jay Z, they always throw up the Rock, you know, and Rihanna, they always throw up the so, Illuminati <laughs> eye, you know. So like, those uh, are when I googled yeah. because I've done a bunch of videos about the Illuminati <laughs> yeah. and stuff. But I didn't realize how crazy it was. Like, look at how many people are doing the 666i thing. Yeah. And how Wait, many... I don't know what that is. Yeah, me either. So this is, oh, there's a definition for it. I should have put it in this document. But basically, what, the all-seeing eye, and there's three sixes. If you look yeah. at the fingers, six. six Why are they six. doing it? It doesn't seem like a very, is it, was yeah. it just trendy? It's or weird, right? Are they actually a part of something? Well, supposedly, it's a, it's a way to show that you're a part of the Illuminati. Sorry, there's some people on the, in this picture that are, like, not that big. <laughs> which is making me think that they're doing it to be like, I'm in the club, too. Um, same. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. So I guess it's like a way to sign that you're, wow, is that Leonardo DiCaprio from like a million years ago? <laughs> He's been in it for that long? <laughs> Sorry. But there's also other ones, like if you do this, if you do like this with your hand, I mean, there's quite a bit of these hand signs that they claim. And there's no world in which it was just like a TikTok trend of their time. <laughs> yeah. no, I mean, it's I like know. on The Real Housewives. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they're all a part Some of, of you guys might know this that are watching. On The Real Housewives, all these women are not going to jail because they're frauding people in real life and their money's like not really theirs. But they go on reality shows and they show how much money they have and they show how rich they are. But it's like not their money. And it's like in plain sight. They're like getting off to it yeah anyways uh chris you uh had something to say i was just gonna say i can understand a group like if there's a a richest group in the world wanting to keep that that makes sense to me but like some of the things that people have accredited with illuminati seem silly to me if i'm being honest and like, like so i mean there's i don't know over the years there's like things i've just heard or like things and there's like oh this person made a face in a music video and i'm like i don't know right. come on or like there will people be like oh this agenda is is about the illuminati i'm like that wouldn't benefit do you have anyone. any specifics or like people have like said like little nas came out because of the illuminati and i'm like little nas is a gay man who came out because he's a gay man. <laughs> well, I do have a clip that I he thought... He did make a very weird music video. I do have... Yeah. yeah, that was a lot. He had blood in one of his sneakers, too. What? Yeah, you didn't hear about that? Little Nas X. No. He six, what? 666 pairs of these shoes that the, came out. He put his own blood in, he, right? Not his own. I don't oh, know not his own. He said it was blood, but then the shoe just looked like it had liquid. Like, mm -hmm. it just like it looked like any of those like those shoes that had the liquid in the bottom right yeah. part. I don't think it was really blood. No, that's not weird. That's, yeah. that's, a that's not weird. <laughs> Um, okay, so I saw this clip that was going viral, and I, I obviously it's like kind of a joke and kind of funny, but then the more I watched it, I watched it about 200 times, <laughs> it started getting creepier to me because I kind of think that he's joking in plain sight. Watch this clip of Kevin Hart silencing oh. Kelly Clarkson. I don't know if you've had this, but I've had people throw millions of dollars in my face to do something I didn't want to do. And what? Oh! You've been on, yeah. Oh, they're in the room. Yeah, I don't want to. What the um, fuck? No way of cueing you. Like, it's open dialogue. Yeah, you want me to keep talking about by, it? By all means, let's, we can keep talking about anything. But, <laughs> but don't do it. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That is crazy. That. Right? Yeah. That, that is was scary. scary as fuck. That is scary. I mean, yeah, that's very scary. <laughs> so weird. Like, Kelly Clarkson, you can feel her just being like, wait, um, is this, wait, huh? What? <laughs> well, Kelly Clarkson does, like, she is powerful enough and famous enough for the Illuminati to approach, and she's like, huh? Nah. How would they not? <laughs> and she turned them down. Well, that's what I'm saying. She's strong enough to turn them down, and now that's why all this strong bad shit's up. happening to her. Sorry. Okay, so, so out of curiosity, Ooh, right? Okay. okay, so the Illuminati approaches you. Hey, girl. Because I think it came up earlier, like, what's the agenda or something like that? Mm -hmm. What do they want you to do? I don't know. But, but, but like, 
So what what do you think possibly they could have had Kelly Clarkson do for them? The Are Illuminati? you kidding me? She's on The Voice. She but, has but, her own daily talk show. What She's do you a think, pop star. But how do you yeah. imagine that she could have contributed to them? Like talked about a certain topic mm -hmm. or how would it have I been? guess act as a spokesperson without being overt. So selling products, uh, delivering a message. Yeah. But that's the thing is that feels more direct to me than this. And this doesn't feel like the start like, of something I, bigger I, to I, me. Have you ever heard a message that you felt like that's like some Illuminati stuff they want you to think? Well, Shane kind of started talking about it last night, but NFTs seem like crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It's like they went up, up, and where are they? Boom. You know, it's that... like the Illuminati didn't work out on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, I think NFTs. Kelly Clarkson said no. Was just opportunist that saw that nobody understood cryptocurrencies and they thought, why not? You know, well, okay. That was a Speaking of celebrities, we're going to move on from the Illuminati because um, I'm actually scared. Uh, well, <laughs> this is also oh, celebrity yeah. related, and this is one of my favorites. So I'm obsessed with celebrities who have fake voices and like fake personas. What about Gilbert Gottfried? Does he get a pass? Rest in peace. Yeah. But, but I, I, I thought I liked his voice. Yeah. Well, so Gilbert Gottfried, he's a comedian who he talks like this. He's the that was great, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's the bird in the Lion King. Wow. It's like, hey! Or no, in Aladdin. 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 <laughs> Aladdin. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, he passed away, but his real voice was just, hey, what's up? So I love stuff like that freaks me out. So I found a clip. I'm a ready show because I didn't know that till just now. Yeah, me what? neither. About Gilbert Godfrey. I didn't know that. You did? I, I, think, no. I think a lot of people don't know that. He only did it, his real voice on Howard Stern like once. Wait, okay, wow. I should play it because... Hold I'm on. already shook. All right. <laughs> this hasn't I didn't started know you guys yet. Be shook I'm shook this. already. <laughs> Michael Jackson had a different voice. The uh -huh. reason he talked like he did is because he always wanted to just relax his vocal cords. So he didn't try hard. Because he wanted to sing better and not stress no himself. Way. Okay, so Gilbert Godfrey, I guess I should play a clip of what he, uh, uh, what his like, you know, is he funny voice? And I'm so fucking rich, I can have all the licorice I want. Okay, so do you remember his voice? Yes. He was the Aflac duck. Yes. Aflac. Uh -huh. It's iconic. <laughs> okay, so this is his actual speaking voice. Maybe I'll grab a piece of pastry on the way out. You can't just eat and not exercise. Yes, you can. Look at everyone else on the boat. <laughs> so that's his voice. Yeah. That was Gilbert Godfrey talking? Wow. Yes. Yeah. I was waiting for Gilbert Godfrey to no, start talking. Him. I it's was like, well, okay, who's this guy? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> He's such a genius. Rest in peace. I cried when he passed away. How exhausting to, mm. oh, I mean, and what talent to be able to like not break throughout your career of going on talk shows and everything. Um, okay. So Paris Hilton, this is a clip from a uh, Patrick star, a makeup <laughs> tutorial. And I saw this a couple years ago and I totally forgot about it until last night. And then I rewatched it and it's crazier than I remember. So Paris Hilton, we all know that her voice is fake. What? Right? The baby voice. Her voice is like fake. And, um, but this clip, she starts in the f baby voice. And then I think she forgets. And then she goes back into it. So get ready. This is insane. And not like a good alien, like an alien who doesn't know how to do their makeup. And I also learned another beauty tip what? that I heard Marilyn Monroe did. Okay. Not, <laughs> not the first time, but like usually I'm so tired because I'm like in a different country or <laughs> land. I have to do mm -hmm. the glam. Mm -hmm. So they like put like pillows around me. Oh, wow. And I like sleep and then they do the hair and makeup while I'm sleeping and it's like. It just keeps getting better. Better. What's word of advice like tackling a dream? And then what? And she goes back to it. They don't pay attention to the haters. Okay. Wait. They literally haters are just miserable people who like are jelly. And by mean jelly, I mean envious. That was crazy, right? Is that? I feel like she looks exactly like Kim Kardashian looks right now. The last time <laughs> on the, uh, when I watched the Kardashians with you guys, <laughs> she looks exactly like she looks right there. But isn't that crazy? Like she, I mean, I love Paris, but like, so she probably was just so comfortable. She forgot that she like, you know, about the voice. It's like, yeah, and then I'm like doing hair and makeup. And but then she caught herself. She's like, and then like, yeah. Well, yeah. what's interesting is when she had that documentary come out and she was like reclaiming herself and her life she was going on a press tour saying like oh the voice was made up and it's something that I put on because I'm a smart businesswoman and she dropped it for like a month and then everything after that was back in the voice she's like hey guys well yeah because we miss it um okay Larry the cable guy this one is an obvious one and it's not a secret. I just hadn't heard it before and it freaked me out. So, you know, Larry the Cable Guy, right? Last time I let her drink before a concert, I'll tell you that much. That concert, it was embarrassing. It was windy out, so her boobies was flying around like one of them inflatable wind dancers in front of an oil chain shop, you know what I mean? So that's Larry the Cable Guy. 
icon. And then I saw this clip. It was, we're not in the studio together, but when I somebody reads me his line and then I got to do my line, I already know what inflection Owen put on the on it, even though somebody else is reading it. Is that insane? Wow. Yeah. I guess he's he's a performer. That one I did know about, but when I first heard it, it blew my mind. Like I was like, what do you mean? His accent's not real. Well, and then I started thinking his audience is, you know, like people that maybe talk like that or that, that relate to yeah, that. Yeah, like a type, yeah. So do you think yeah. they were pissed when the truth came out? It is weird, <laughs> like, I never heard his voice. I think we talked about it before, but it's like the Duck Dynasty guys. I never saw that show, but like they made this whole show and they're like, hey, whoa, whoa, and they have big beards and big whatever. Yep. But then they're all rich, you know, clean cut dudes and it's all bullshit. It's what? easy to get wow. lost in your job. Really? I will say, yeah, once you, you start finding thing? success. No. Yeah. Oh my God, hold on, let me show they're you. They're all wearing fake so, beards and shit? No, yeah, so they started Duck Dynasty because they were promoting their like- Duck whistle. Hoo, hoo, yeah. 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 Um, but they wanted to appeal to, you know, people that would buy that. So they started looking like this on their reality show. So just created characters. I'm yeah. fully aware of that. So that's them, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, real. Wow. Yeah, so this Everything's was, no a lie. This is them right before the show came out. Uh, no, no, it's not. Way. Stop yes. it. That is no so good. Honestly, a good con. It's crazy? <laughs> that is Dude, if that's not crazy. a cheap trick, <laughs> I don't know what is. That's fucking commitment. Well, it's like the guy, the liver king. You seen this guy? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. I, you got to look him up. Yeah. He only eats, like, duck livers or something. And, like, he kept saying he wasn't on steroids and all this stuff. But yeah, obviously he was. Yeah. But it's like there's a lot of people faking the funk out there. Well, yeah. you never know what will go viral. And yeah. then once it sticks, it's like, who am I to say no to this jackpot I hit? And then you lose yourself inside of it. There's a lot of people yeah. to play characters, you know? Uh, wow. Well, speaking of fake voices, it's time for a recap. Lights, camera, action, Ryland's recap is about to happen, yeah. Ryland's recap. On today's episode of the Shane Dawson Podcast, the boys find their first guest of 2023. Just so happens to be Pizza, is it Pizza Boy Fresh? That's correct. Pizza Boy Dang. Fresh. <laughs> pizza Boy Fresh. Oh, you wait, do wait. it, you Capiche do it. Capiche and Chris. Yes. Wow, good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <I should see. laughs> now you're eating. <laughs> Autism got talked about a lot. Oh. I'm not autistic, but the boys, way. But we I don't want to say accused, because that seems aggressive. We confirm that we're not. The boys confirm that they are indeed not autistic. We addressed speculation. But they did address speculation. Spectrum speculation. <laughs> <laughs> they did address spectrum speculation. Boom. Uh, prayers for CC or no? Oh, oh yeah. Prayer, yeah. Possibly if you know CC in real life. Search party for CC. Yes. Well, the boys are concerned about phone caller CC, who seems to be getting love bombed, soon to be killed. CC, we're praying for you. Yikes. Well, I don't know if she's hey! gonna get killed. That, okay, I'm Shane screamed it for fence. 30 minutes. I want to believe in love, but nothing could happen. Yeah, Chris, what would you do if uh, on a first date a girl was like, I love you. We should get married and have kids. This year. Uh, I probably would not talk to her again. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Uh, uh, there it is. But, but what if she was your dream girl? What if she was your everything? Like you were like, she's everything you ever wanted. Definitely go out on a second date. <laughs> <laughs> Bad advice. Cece, do not listen to that. <laughs> um, oh, oh, Jared, Jared's Crocs. Oh. Jared receives the ultimate gift from Shane being 7-Eleven Crocs. However, that dream was soon to be crushed after we became sneakerheads and oh. learned they were trash. Crocodile do bricks. I don't know what would what would <laughs> bricks. <laughs> what you know, bricks. You're telling no, me they're, right they're now. Nice. They're nice. What does a brick mean? Rate, brick rate these right now on one to ten. How do you how yeah. you rate these? Hold the towards the camera. How you rate these kicks? Be honest. Honest. Like an eight, actually. Wow. Yeah, yeah, these I are like them. these. Are, I like them. They're these sneaker head approved. What, yeah. what, 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 yeah. is, what is that? I'll you know, tell you, they're pretty much sold out on the on the Croc site. Yeah. So they're, they're a hot get. They're not yeah. bricks. No. I don't know with <laughs> who. Right. Oh, a uh, new ick unlocked. Your yawning is fucking oh. annoying. Oh, don't call people, bud. The boys oh. discover a few new icks, one being me yawning. And Jared can't stand when somebody calls him Bud. And you shouldn't trust anyone that calls you Bud. No, fucking cut him out of your life. No, but my best friend is it. He's but a really good guy. I'd cut somebody out that said Bud faster than somebody said they want to get married He's this year. He's one of year. the best people I ever met. Straw Hat makes the best pizza of all time. Oh, the boys yes. learned. Well, Facts. I learned Straw Hat pizza makes the best pizza of all time. I it's been confirmed. Um, yeah. Oh, Joe Biden's ears have changed. Weird melted candles. He's and a lizard. Melted candles. <laughs> but not political. In presidential news, uh, 
his ears have gone. We're just strictly attacking his looks. Nothing presidential <laughs> about it. Yes. Yes. Nothing political, but he is the oldest president ever. Would you let him pee on you? No. Okay. No, I wouldn't the let president? you pee on me. Uh, I bet he pees on himself. I guess I would for the story. They've probably got to tell him where to pee, yeah. Go vote. <laughs> yeah, vote, right? everyone. Politics. Um, okay. Uh, please, Kelly, please, please vote. Kelly Clarkson, uh, she rejected the Illuminati. Pray Kel for Kelly. Kelly Clarkson confirms she is not about the Illuminati, shutting Kevin Hart down. What a queen. We love her. Uh, oh, Paris Hilton uh, has uh, uh, 10 voices. Oh, in celebrities with 10 voices, Paris Hilton tops the charts. Her music? I'm <gasps> just kidding. No, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. How dare Paris you? Hilton. <laughs> Paris Hilton could be Kim Kardashian. Oh. She's the one that introduced Kim Kardashian okay. to the world. Maybe it was a stunt double. Maybe to become her down the line. I don't know. It, Parallel it's all universe making... alert. <laughs> Paris Hilton is Kim Kardashian. Ooh. Yes. Wait, now I feel bad about Paris Hilton. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know her music. No, Stars Are Blind is good. Her music is good. Yeah. Her self-titled album, Paris, from 2009. I prefer Ashley Simpson, but whatever. Rylan, yawning, maybe a sociopath. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, dang. Test your relationships with yawning. If your boyfriend doesn't yawn back, he's likely a sociopath. <laughs> um, oh, we have a new voicemail. Uh, Seven four seven two six three two five one two. You think I can remember that? <laughs> <laughs> An answer if we call. <laughs> the boys yeah. have a new voicemail line. If you want to ask advice or talk shit about us to our faces, feel free to call and leave your number because we will call back live. Uh, Possibly. Possibly. You know what that's like <laughs> if we promise. like you enough. It's not a contingent. <laughs> Keep it short too. Don't get crazy. Oh, uh, where could people find? Uh, Chris, a.k.a. Capiche, a.k.a. Pizza Boy Fresh. I think you should go with that name. I yeah, love that yeah, name. Yeah. Where can you find him? Good question. Tossing to Chris now. Uh, at Capiche Kid, K-A-P-E-A-S-H-K-I-D. And then also my sneaker page, too, is uh, Capiche at Capiche underscore kicks. And you, do you review the sneakers you get or that you're selling? I do selling? tutorials, I do reviews, I do like battle, sneaker battles, Ooh. better, hypes. Get your sneaker better, game yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, uh, yeah. and then my also opinion, uh, my music videos on on YouTube as well. Capiche Baddies, check that out too. Yes, check it out. Check out all the socials. Check out Straw Hat Pizza Straw in, Hat Pizza. in Lakewood, Straw California. Hat. At Straw Hat Pizza Cerritos. Cerritos. IG. You follow the first five posts. Free pizza. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, that's a deal. Straw going out of business. Carry <laughs> <laughs> the headlines. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I was also thinking, listen, not to get too overboard and not to, you know, uh, love bomb you too much, but I was thinking if we ever did our first live show, our first live podcast, we should do it at a Straw Hat Pizza. <laughs> I'm just True. saying. Come through. Okay. I know where else we would yeah. do it. All right, we'll come you. through. We'll come through. Yeah, sounds good. Um, okay, uh, yeah, I guess wrap it up, baby. Oh, we have a uh, new merch, whatever they get it. Who cares? <laughs> You guys already know. All right, you guys. That's it for today's episode of the Shane Dawson Podcast. Make sure you buy the Shane Dawson Podcast merch at shanedawsonpodcast.com. Follow us all on social media and listen wherever you listen to your podcast or watch us on YouTube. Subscribe and we'll see you next week, every other week. When how often are we uploading? I don't know. Do we know? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and we'll see you right here next time on the Shane Dawson Podcast. Yay! Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed whatever the hell this was with our first guest in California, Chris yeah. Pizza Boy Fresh. Pizza Boy Fresh. Ooh, okay, Illuminati, don't come for us. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.